Hey guys, I'm Josh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over gift ideas for either yourself or for a STEM slash computer science slash programmer slash tech person in general. There will be ranges from $10 all the way up to about 100, maybe a little bit more than 100. And as usual, before the video even starts, if you could leave a like on the video, it really helps a small channel like mine grow. While you're down there, if you could leave a comment on what you expect for Christmas, what you'd like to see, or something that I've really missed in this video, I'll be harding all of those comments and throwing them in the description as well. I think it could really help a lot of people kind of build their ideas out a little bit more and provide some more help. All of the items that I talk about in this video will be linked down in the description. So here's something you probably shouldn't get. If you want to buy a shirt that has some sort of computer science meme on it, I don't know if you should necessarily get that because I don't know if we're necessarily going to wear it, you know? Unless you know the person very well. Um, then that might be kind of a wasted opportunity. Unless it's Patagonia or if it's giving off those Elliot Mr. Robot vibes, I don't know if that's necessarily going to be the best idea. But big picture ideas would be a lot of project ideas. So thinking about different things that they can incorporate coding as well as something that they're building with their hands, let's say. So getting some LED lights that they could code with their Arduino to make a dreamscape kind of rain formation. Or getting them kind of more or less a kit, uh, let's say Raspberry Pi, along with frame and mirror to build a smart mirror, you know, um, as well as a Google Home, I guess you would need for that. Just different project ideas that they could do with writing code as well as building with their hands, I feel like is a great Christmas idea because I mean, we're gonna have that whole month off where we're probably not doing too much. Um, and especially during quarantine now, it's already kind of locking down again. So having something that they can do like that is definitely gonna be something that they'd probably enjoy. So starting off with the $10 items. Coming in for number one, and I'll be just listing these off kind of quickly, and I'll have things up on the screen for you. Um, our sticker collection from Amazon. Uh, right now, as you can see, my MacBook is pretty plain, but I know that a lot of you guys like to have customized water bottles or stickers. Another one would be a computer science themed shot glass or mug. Now, I personally have purchased one of these shot glasses for one of my friends who is a STEM major and I got it from Etsy. It was under $10. I'll throw a couple on the screen. I also have a mug. I'll throw that up on the screen as well. And these are just like little Easter egg items. You know, you don't really need a computer science themed shot glass or mug, but if it has kind of a witty thing on it. I think we'd really love that stuff. Another item for this would be desk decor. And that can be either plants as you see over here, just smaller items like desk decor or little widgets or stuff. If you know your friend is into anime, maybe getting like a little action figure or something like that. I know we really like to personalize our desks. Uh, if not, we have like shelves or something. I don't have any at the moment, but just something for decor. Another instance for this would be books. Uh, something I've seen on Amazon going for pretty cheap is cracking the coding interview. Um, I'll list a couple more down in the description as well. If they want it, I know books for Christmas aren't really the best thing ever, but I feel like computer science is kind of a different whole thing by itself. So, you know, if they were already thinking of getting the cracking the coding interview, for instance, that would be a good, good purchase. And another item would be blue light glasses. Now, I don't know how well these work exactly. There's no real science to it behind it, but I have some personally, and I've noticed a little bit of a difference while using it, especially late at night while you know, if we don't have all these lights going on, we're doing our coding labs right at the end. You know, having some blue light glasses definitely helps on that eye strain. I have noticed less eye fatigue, if that makes sense. Like less, you know, you feel the droopiness late at night. Um, so I think those could be a good option as well. There's a whole bunch of different designs. Kind of just pick one and you can go from there. And going up to the 25 and plus range would be kind of a subscription to one of their favorite skill share sites, you could say. So for instance, like Pluralsight, Lead Code, or Algo Expert, or things like that really. I'll list a couple more down in the description. Um, depending on who they are and what they want to accomplish, um, this one might be more towards, like if you already know they have a Lead Code subscription, getting a subscription for another three months, or one month or something like that, that could be a good option. I don't know if you should randomly just go out and get one, if you don't really know what they want to accomplish, maybe they want classes, maybe they want different things. So it could be a little bit of a different use case for each scenario. Another one for the $25 plus range would be a laptop stand or a vertical laptop stand like the one that I have. It's another desk accessory, but I really think that programmers as well as just anybody in computer science, 
would be able to use that sort of stuff every day. Um, for instance, I like to, since I have such a wide monitor, I just like having one monitor and closing my laptop and using it in clamshell with this vertical laptop stand. Um, I've also seen ones where the laptop can be used as another monitor um, next to the side of their main monitor. These are very, these definitely help in productivity and this definitely helps save on test space. Another one would be computer accessories. If they have a laptop, getting something like a laptop sleeve or a laptop case for them, maybe a vinyl decal or something for their computer. I know a lot of us use our laptops every day. We're gonna be transporting in our backpack and stuff. So having that extra little bit of protection or a little bit of aesthetic design sort of, uh, it's gonna go a long way for sure. And the final item for this $25 plus range are some LED lights slash smart lights. So I personally got these $20 kind of rainbow LED lights. It has a whole bunch of different colors as well as just some smart lights that are on and off. You can use it with our phone. This sort of stuff for our desk setup slash rooms definitely go a long way. It leads to a little bit more customization as well as if you buy like let's say a Philips Hue or a LifeFX kind of LED, uh, we can also automate it with Python. So that's another coding project that they could do with that light. For my particular one, there's nothing really you could do unless it's just connected to the Wi-Fi and you do it kind of like that. But the brand that I have is Jetstream. It was $20 on from Walmart actually. Um, and I just wanted a budget one just to see if I like it or not. And so far I've been loving it. I've had it for around four or five months, you know? So I think that's a great gift idea. Coming in at $50 or 50 plus would be an Arduino kit. Um, so this one you can do a whole lot of stuff with code with it. You can do a little bit of mechanical engineering kind of stuff. But like I said, you could write code with it and also you could use, let's say motor to automate writing something on a wall or you know opening your door for instance. There's a lot of different things that people have done with them. I'll throw some up on the screen and I think that's a great idea, honestly. And I do kind of want to pick one up for myself. Another one for $50 and over would be some noise canceling headphones. Now I personally have these Taotronic noise canceling headphones. I picked these up about maybe two or three months ago and I've been liking these a lot actually. Noise canceling headphones can get pretty pricey, but the ones that I have right here are around $50. As well as the noise canceling aspect of these headphones, I really think they're worth the price. Comes with Bluetooth as well as wired, so you can do either or. Kind of a necessity for any programmer, really. And it blocks out all the background noise. Another item for the $50 plus range is having a monitor light. So since we are kind of maybe coding in late into the day or we have a dimly lit room or something like that, having one of these monitor lights is something that I definitely want to get here pretty soon. And one, it'll help with eye strain. And two, it'll be another kind of aesthetic desktop piece that you can put on your monitor well, if you have a textbook on the bottom, it'll just pretty much illuminate whatever else is underneath the monitor. So your keyboard, your laptop, whatever, your book, that'll all be illuminated and you can be able to see kind of later into the night. And coming in for the $100 plus range, first up, I've got a standing desk. Now, if you're kind of balling and you wanna pick something up for Black Friday for yourself or you have somebody who you wanna buy for, Picking up a standing desk has definitely been something that you didn't know that you needed until you have it. So I recently got one from FlexiSpot actually and I've had it for, I don't know, about two, three weeks now. And it's one of those things where, like I said, you don't really know you need it until you have it. Um, as you can tell, like I'm already leaning while I'm talking in this video, like my back posture isn't the greatest, especially while sitting in a chair for long periods of time. Now that remote work and Zoom and all of this stuff is all online. Having, being able to stand up definitely helps with back problems as well as kind of aid in productivity, if that makes sense. Just because you're getting a little bit of a change of scenery, you can push your chair back, you can stand up, you can sit down. There's a whole lot of different variabilities in there that you can do. Another item could be a portable monitor. So I've seen a lot of these and they've become very popular nowadays. Um, a lot of them are just USB-C, they plug in, they're able to get power from USB-C as well as display through USB-C or HDMI. Um, a lot of them are like 15 inches, 60 hertz type stuff. And I think that could be really beneficial for somebody who's on the go. Maybe they do not have an iPad and they want to have another external screen. Let's say they're in a dorm um, and they want to have two screens. They've just got their laptop and they can take on this portable monitor without carrying you know, a whole monitor like this, let's say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys.